Hey everyone, April here. Today I'm talking about PCR testing. And PCR testing is a relatively newer type of testing for your pets to determine what is the cause of their symptoms of a active illness that they're having. And this company actually allows you to do a PCR testing right from your home. You just go on their website, zoologics.com, and you order their testing kit, and it just comes with a couple simple cotton swabs that are in these packets. And all you'll need to be doing is swabbing your pet, whatever you're going to test for. And they have the diagnostic form here for your submission, and you, can, you see you can do cat or dog testing, anything from upper respiratory panel to a fecal panel. So if your pet's having upper respiratory symptoms or diarrhea symptoms, and you simply will swab the fecal matter or the mucus with the cotton swabs, put it in the kit, mail it in, and you get your answer in days. So continue, we're talking about the PCR testing. So how the PCR testing is different and potentially a lot more beneficial than standard testing that we've had available before for our pets is that other conventional blood tests are looking for the actual parasite or bacteria that you're testing for in the blood. And so some of these infections are considered stealth infections where the bacteria actually aren't flourishing in the bloodstream a lot. They're, they're in different parts of the bodies, like in, in tissues, like something like Lyme disease actually doesn't proliferate through your, through your bloodstream of your pet, it actually penetrates into the tissues. So this testing, instead what it's looking for is it's just determining the DNA of whatever infection that you're looking for has that infection ever been present in your pet's body and that will come up on this test. Okay, so PCR testing part three. Here is my real life experience. I actually use this testing for my pet clients that I coach very frequently when they come to me. A lot of people that come to me are dealing with chronic illness stuff because that's kind of my specialty and we order these home PCR kits. But my personal experience was my dog Bailey, when she came home to us last year, she had a lot of eye discharge and nasal discharge and it was something that just kind of kept coming and going and my vet thought maybe it was Bordetella so treated her for that, but unfortunately it came back. So we went ahead and did a PCR test on her eye discharge and sure enough it came back with a different bacterium called mycoplasma which can be pretty hard to isolate in the blood. It's a very, very tiny, tiny bacteria. Um, and very hard to treat, so she had to go on a month of antibiotics, but now you see she's clear and well thanks to the PCR test.